Hi everybody, my name is Amanda Thompson from Allied Instructional Services. We're going to be looking at some different ways that you can navigate in courses in the Schoology Learning Management System. It is an accessible website, but it's not always intrinsically accessible in so much that sometimes you have to do different navigation strategies to get to the parts of the page that you want to get to. So we're going to look at what you might typically do to navigate a website, how that's different and doesn't necessarily work, and then some options for getting wherever you need to go within the software or the app, uh, website. So I'm going to turn my speech back on. I'm going to navigate to the course that I want. When I tab forward, I will hear courses. I will space to expand the courses, tab to the course that I want, and hit space again to activate that link. So here we go. Full speech. Skip the content. Same page. Link. Banner region. Courses button menu. Space expanded menu my navigate the course navigate the course my sand space leaving menus my sand okay so Space now I'm in frame. skip I'm in the Schoology uh, website right I'm in the course usually your student will do a couple of different things depending on their level of familiarity with JAWS and web-based navigation they may hit tab and then skip to main content. If they skip to the main content, it's going to take them into this list of different, right now it's materials for the course. And so if they do that, they will not be accessing that left navigation pane that they need to get to in order to go to assignments or posts from the teacher or check their grades or check their attendance or go to something like Edpuzzle or whatever. Another thing that they might do is just tab across the screen until they eventually get into that navigation pane on the, the left side. They might navigate or try to navigate by link. They might, might try to navigate by heading. So we're going to pull open some of those options and see what other elements are on the page. And then you and your student can determine the way that makes the most sense to your student so that he or she can remember different ways to get around the screen. So I'm just going to start by showing you some of the most frequently used, I think, by my students' strategies to get to that left navigation pane. Skip the content, save space, add materials, options, all of So once you get to that, you skip this. In this case, I skipped to the main content and I activated that. Now I'm in that main region where a lot of the resources or materials are in the course. But say I want to go to my updates and find out what my teacher posted about what I'm supposed to do this week. I could tab forward through all the different parts of this section and hopefully one day end up in that navigation pane. I can shift tab and let's see what, so I could, I'll just show you going forward with tab. Add the option, all material, form, click the, expand, syllabus, click the, expand, word, part, click. So you can see the strategy of pressing tab will take us forever to get to that left navigation pane. Say I want to try my links by pressing I. Link support, vertical, link, schoology, link, privacy, link, terms of use, wrapping the top, courses, button, groups, but link, resources. So that didn't really work for me. So now I'm going to go back to that section by going to my address bar and then skipping the main content again. Hold D. Skip the space. Add material. Perhaps I want to try uh, navigating by a button from here. Options, but all material, click the toggle options, but expand folder, button, click the toggle options, button, expand folder. So I got all these buttons, but they don't really tell me what I'm doing. So that's not going to give me a lot of information. Let's try navigating by heading. Upcoming dot operator calendar heading level three button. So I found a level three heading that shows me what's in my calendar. So if my teacher had assigned something that was due, I could possibly access it by hitting the heading and then tab into the events. Wrapping the top. Access code heading level three. I've got another level three heading for access code to this course. Information heading level three. An information heading. My sandbox colon section three head upcoming dot up wrapping the top information my sand. So this huge long website has three level three headings four level three headings, and it doesn't take me where I need to go to get into this navigation pane. But if, for example, I did a shift H Information heading, access code heading level three. and got to this access code, it's near the left navigation pane, I can shift tab into that navigation pane. Profile picture, profile picture, profile picture for new profile picture for a puzzle, a puzzle link graphic. And you notice that it said one thing, profile picture link for Edpuzzle. So that tells me that that is a link. And it also said a graphic. So I can navigate here to some of these parts of this navigation pane by graphic, um, possibly also by link. 
Um, but one of the things I wanted to show you is usually when you get into a navigation pane, you can do arrows up and down and navigate. Link, puzzle, link, graph, link, news, link, graph, link, P, link, graph, link, power, and it works at the bottom, link, but look link, at this. Link, I'm Nuzella, pressing up. Link, 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 course options button, link, graphic, course option, link, graphic, profile, picture, What I want to show here is it's skipping from the course options. It skips materials, updates, gradebook, grade setup, mastery, badges, attendance, members, analytics, and workload planning. So you cannot access those parts of the navigation pane with arrows up and down. Those are the ones that are the hardest to get to for our students. So we have to come up with a different strategy. From this graphic for discovery education, I can shift tab. Course options, menu, current menu, material updates. And then once I hit that material section, I can keep tabbing through them. Great book, great set mastery. So that's all a really discombobulated way of getting to that pa panel by skipping to the main content um, and then shift tabbing. And you can do that by heading or, or whatever. So let's just pro go through that process together really fast again one more time. Alt D, leaving menus, toolbar. Go to the address bar. Menu, leaving menus, space, course options, Oops. button, edit, pick, banner region. That banner was interesting. Region, zero and red so we're going to go back. D, tool, skip to content, same, enter, add materials, button, add, section, list, notification. So I'm shift tabbing. Sand, reset link. Student, hide, profile, profile, pick. So that's one way to get into that navigation pane. I go to my main content and then I shift tab until I hear the main, the, um, the navigation bars. It's still pretty long. So now we're going to try the other strategy that a lot of my students do, and that's just tabbing across that toolbar at the top. Alt D, tool, skip to content, same so we're not going to skip to content. Banner region, courses button, groups button, resources link, list with six items, search button menu, show apps button, calendar link. Zero and red messages button. Zero and red notify. Amanda Thompson. Edit picture link. Opens edit profile if, picture dialog. If my students are going to use this long version tab approach, then I tell them that the edit picture words indicate that they're close to the navigation button, so they can skip through the rest relatively quickly until they hear edit picture. Course option. Menu. Material updates. And now we're Great in. Book. And we can just tab through. Great setup. Okay, so that's another relatively long way to get into that section. Here's another strategy that I've seen mentioned before. Alt D, le menu, leaving menus, banner region. Banner we know region, that some of those list with four items, home. Some of those words in that navigation pane are graphics. So let's press a G for graphic. Profile picture for my sandbox colon set. Boom, you're already at that graphic for the sandbox picture. Course up, menu, material updates. And you can tab in to your document. And let's see what else we've got here. We can go back. Alt D, leave, skip the content button to activate, press enter. Wonder if we have different links on this page. Let's see what elements, uh, links, and headings we've got. Select so we can see what we can dialogue. go through. List one, list view, course options button. So we have course options button, the groups button. We have a search button. Um, we have the show apps button. So we have lots of different buttons that we could uh, access. One, add material, option. So probably click navigating click by click button click is not click a good way to navigate. Click, 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 click the toggle and option, we have so many expand, button, click, click, expand, expand, click. click that doesn't show you anything about what's going on. And then you have previous page, unlabeled buttons for edit, zooming, all that stuff. So buttons are not going to be a good way to navigate this page. Escape to activate, so I'm going to do caps lock F6. Heading list dialog, headings list view, access code colon three. One That's four, that level three. That level three heading we talked about before, where you tab into the page, you hit that first level three heading, and you go backwards. So if you need to access something at the bottom of the navigation pane on the left, say you go to Edpuzzle, then you could tab in, press the level three heading, and then shift tab until you got to, say, Edpuzzle. Or if you liked the graphic option of tabbing in, pressing G to get to the profile picture of the course, and then tabbing forward, um, to go through that navigation pane. That's another option. And then I just wanted to show you the links as well. Escape. Caps lock at seven dialogue. for the links. Links we have home. skip to content home. Resource. Calendar. Edit picture. Five of thirty four. Profile picture. Profile picture. Profile profile. So Reset. lots of profile, pic profile pictures. Section. And then all the different <laughs> units and stuff that my teacher has assigned. Skip so the in theory you could also press the link or press Caps lock F7 to get to the links and then arrow down to edit picture. So you have a couple different options for how to get there depending on what you want to do. The fastest way is to start at the address bar, tab in, press G for graphic, and then press tab 
as you go through that navigation pane. If you want to be at the bottom and you want to skip some of those things, you tab in, you press H for that level three header to get to your access code, and then shift tab to go up to the left side. And just keep in mind that this could change at any point in time. And if your student starts to struggle accessing Schoology, then you can sit down together and look at the different options. Think about the way that JAWS is reading the different parts that you can access. Look at your list of links and your list of headings and your elements on the page and then decide from there what your best option is for getting wherever you need to go. Hopefully this was helpful and you're able to see that Schoology is accessible, just not intrinsically so, and then um, have some success with your students.